Because in reality, the majority of people are very soft. Yeah. A lot of people are soft, whether it's physically, emotionally, or mentally. The whole reason you do hard shit is to harden you the fuck up. That's why you do it. You can't be soft mentally. Mentally, if I have to get hard mentally, I'ma fuck you up. I'ma get downright ruthless. I'm gonna remove every single fucking emotion in my body because I'm capable of doing it because I've had to in my life. Do I like going there? Fuck no, it ain't fun. I like going there physically every single day. And the whole reason that you push yourself physically hard is because eventually you're going to tap into the mental aspect of it and then that's going to harden you the fuck up. Because you're going to be like, I'm losing my legs. Man, set number seven was really kicking my ass. Okay, now motherfucker, you push yourself to the next level. So now you're taxed physically, you're taxed mentally, now let's get emotional with this bitch. How far are you really willing to go? You willing to push yourself to a point whenever most would quit? So the problem with today is a lot of people are very soft. Soft physically, soft mentally, soft emotionally, and then soft spiritually. Like, do you have a bigger meaning in life? Right. Is there something more in life than what you're seeing right in front of you? And the answer is absolutely yes. But people can't see that if they don't tap into it. So I think a lot of people today still want other people to do things for them. 100%. Yeah. They want too many things like having a coach. Well, that's great, you have a coach. But that motherfucker still ain't doing shit for you. You still gotta do it for yourself. They ain't fucking making your legs go in one foot in front of the other. Because guess what, if you miss a workout, they're gonna be like, where was a workout? And you're gonna be like, uh, I didn't wake up in time. They're gonna be like, oh, okay, fuck you. Get hard, motherfucker. And how do you do it? Bro, put yourself in very uncomfortable situations. I need to challenge myself. I need to get hard, motherfucker. So that means doing some shit that I ain't not ever done in my entire motherfucking life. And that's where I'm at. And guess what? I am not fucking good. I have fucking driven myself into the ground. I have felt things that certain people only dream of feeling. I have felt them. I don't want to go through life as all. I don't want to go through life waking up and being unhappy with my decisions.
only here for a blip. 75 years human beings roam the earth. Bro, motherfucker, we've been around for tens of thousands of years. What the fuck's my 75 years? It's a blip. It's a blip. So what am I doing to carry on my traditions, my thoughts, my emotions? Because I know I'm a pretty good motherfucker. It might be a little while, but I know I have some good shit in me. So how do I continue to carry that on through life? Through traditions and thoughts and feelings and emotions that I have about life that I pass down through generations and through people through our message of being hardworking motherfuckers. If I die, HWMF is still a strong fucking thing that people will carry for the rest of their lives. And they will tell their children to be a hardworking motherfucker. Because the one thing that I know is when we're at the grocery store and an old lady sees a shirt that says HWMF and hardworking motherfuckers, she's like, I like that. My husband was one. Bitch, because your husband grew up in one of the most hard times in history. Through the Great Depression. He had to be a hardworking motherfucker to make it through it. So, for me, doing all of these things, like, if I died tomorrow, I, I, I couldn't imagine it simply because I didn't raise my son to be a man. That's why it's so important to raise my son to become a man, so that he can carry on my thoughts, my feelings, family name, our traditions, and everything throughout life. It's bigger than me. Because if we're here for 75 years, how do we make it that it's 150? How do we make an impact on more people? So, like, the whole reason that we're doing all this stuff, that you train like this, that you push yourself, that you challenge yourself in every aspect of life, is because it's supposed to be bigger than you. It's supposed to be bigger than this flipping fucking time. irritates me that people don't think like